Good morning. Please stand for the pledge. Now, please join me in a moment of silence. Good morning, VBE Tribe, and happy Tuesday. We hope your day is off to a super duper terrific start that you had an amazing four days to relax, that you had an awesome time trick-or-treating with your family and friends yesterday, and you're ready for another awesome day here at Vero Beach Elementary. We have seven classes, an all-time high of uh, classes who are in the competition for the first to five challenge. Remember this challenge winner receives a pizza party yum so right now we have miss roberts class miss gonzalez's class mr trumbull's class miss grapsy's class miss martin's class miss teague's class and we have somebody coming up from behind who just gave me her attendance from last week miss henry most of these classes have two or three days of perfect attendance so that means who is going to win the pizza party it could be any one of you or maybe we have a new class who starts today perfect attendance and really follows through and comes in strong and wins a challenge could it be you good luck to everybody make sure you're showing up each and every day Today, during lunches, we will have a uh, scouting pep rally, so there will be a little mini presentation during all lunches in the cafeteria today. Make sure you are a polite audience um, for our guest. Tomorrow, if you are interested in joining the scouting program, uh, your parents will be attending a parent night um, and signing you up to be a scout, so make sure you're listening closely. It's really cool. You get to do a lot of outdoor things. Things. Um, so if you're interested, make sure you tell your parents because tomorrow night, Wednesday, will be an event where your parents can sign you up. Later this week on Friday, we will be recognizing all of those students who had perfect attendance in the month of October. So teachers, I sent that spreadsheet out earlier this week. So please make sure you take a look at that. Please make sure you are notifying all parents of students who have perfect attendance and letting them know that they will be recognized on Friday and that they are more than welcome to attend the celebration with their students. So um, again, that's perfect attendance. Make sure you're checking that spreadsheet to see which one of your students has perfect attendance for the month of October. All right, everyone, have a terrific Tuesday. We can't wait to see all the amazing things that are happening inside your classroom and all around campus. Don't forget to show that VBE vibe of valuing respect, inspiring others, being responsible, and exercising safety. Have a great day, guys. Good morning, VBE, and welcome back from your awesome Halloween break. I am here to announce some awesome things happening for reading in the month of November. We are so grateful that you are here and to express our gratitude for your reading, we're gonna fall in love with reading with our fall wreath competition. That's right, your class will be getting a wreath and leaves for all the reading you guys do. For my upper grade levels, second grade and up, you'll be getting it for your reading and passing on AR tests. For kindergarten and first grade, you'll be getting new reading logs. 
Now you guys have your work cut out for you because fourth grade is in the lead already. In the top 15 readers in the school, they are nine of them, all coming from fourth grade, so way to go. And especially way to go to my favorite fourth grader, Connor Fiore, who is our school's first millionaire. Congratulations. So our reading competition is taking off for November, fall in love with reading. Once everybody in your class has passed an AR test, you will see your wreath appear. And for all those books and words you read, more leaves will come. The grade level in class with the most leaves on their wreath will be our winner. Will it be you? Let's see. Have a great day, VBE. Good morning, good morning, VBE. How are you guys? Hope you guys had a great long weekend. And if you celebrate Halloween, I wish you had a wonderful Halloween. Uh, we had a couple birthdays on the 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st, and today. On the 28th, happy birthday to Madison from Ms. Henry's class. 29, happy birthday to Haley from Mr. Trumbull's class. On the 30th, happy birthday to Jaden from Ms. Canavari's class. Happy birthday to Junior from Ms. Cre who, Mr. Creary's class. Happy birthday to Easton from Ms. Snow's class on the 31st. Happy birthday to Savannah from Ms. Wallace's class on the 31st. Today, November 1st, happy birthday to Preston. And happy birthday for, for Susan from Ms. Fletcher and Ms. M T's class. Happy birthday, guys. In other news, Miss Savargas has figured out who pranked him. <laughs> that was a beautiful prank. <laughs> but he also warned the he warned warned the <laughs> he warned me that he found out who did it. He has the picture. So he said he's coming for you guys. Why would you take pictures of what you did? <laughs> Especially if you leave your phone open. <laughs> he figured it out. Here it is. He's coming to get you guys. Bye bye Beware. Good morning, Vivi. Good morning. Uh, just wanted to uh, give you guys another uh, announcement. Uh, Mr. Miguel has applied for a new job. And he's going to be in charge of another school. So I want to congratulate you congratulate him but I also wanted to say that I'm gonna miss him very very much and I know we're all gonna miss Mr. Miguel he was a wonderful custodian but I'm very very happy on this new adventure that he's going on and this new opportunity that he has acquired so I wish him nothing but the best but I also want to say that I'm, we're gonna miss you very very much we're gonna miss him very much and you know we just want to wish you the best of the best thank you Mr. Miguel for everything